Greetings and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a PayPal button for your Google site. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is log in to your PayPal account. Make sure you're logged into your PayPal business account and it must be a business account. If you don't have a PayPal business account, go create one. Pause this video, go create one and come back. All right, now that you have a PayPal business account, uh, once you are logged into your PayPal business account and you're on the home page, see right here where it says pay and get paid. I want you to click right there. And that opens up this menu here. And if you just come down here and you see right here under accept payments where it says PayPal buttons, I want you to click there. All right. Now here it gives you a menu of buttons you can create, right? And uh, so it's got smart buttons, sell on social media, buy now buttons, add to cart buttons, donate, subscribe, and automatic billing. All right, what we're going to do right here is we're going to do an add to cart button because that's what most people are do using when they try to set up an online store. Go ahead and click that. And it opens up this page, Create PayPal Payment Button. And this is the platform you're going to use. And as you can see right here, it gives you another option to change the button type. We already selected Shopping Cart, but there's the other ones we saw right there. Okay, except uh, I don't see the social media one there, but I'm sure they'll be adding it eventually. Uh, so go in here and name your item. So we're going to call this a widget. All right. And item ID is optional, of course. Usually you're going to put uh, something that would help you know what the product is later. Uh, I'm just going to call it W1, widget 1 here. And the price of our widget in this case is going to be $25. So just put your amount in. You can select different currencies if you are in a different country. Good to know. And you can uh, offer multiple prices uh, for the same item based on, uh, you know, what their geography is or any other, you know, number of possibilities there. Now here you have the option to customize your button and you are going to uh, here you're going to uh, add a drop down menu with price options okay so let's click on that and here it goes uh, name your option name name the drop down menu so here we're going to call it uh, these are some other ones I've been working with but uh, yeah let's sure why not select size and here we'll do small right and here we'll do medium and here we'll do large all right and that makes it possible for us to go ahead and offer a price option and we'll just do that real quick we'll make this 135 small medium and large if you were selling t-shirts or something like that you might want to offer that option all right okay now if you go down here it allows you to add more options if you want to but we're just going to click done and now you get down here a little further there's our our customized menu for select size small medium or large right starts with small at 25 dollars and we'll go over here this gives you some options for shipping now i highly recommend just include, average out what you think your shipping is going to be uh, across, you know, your customer base and add it into your prices and just say free shipping on your website and then figure that into your prices. I think consumers prefer that. Uh, but if you have a hard time with that, you can also, you know, integrate UPS with uh, PayPal. Um, United States post office is already integrated 
uh, but you can integrate United Parcel Service, and that gives you, so you can select a weight, uh, say, let's say your items weigh one pound, you expect them to, or you could use a specific amount of dollars for each item. Let's say you know it's going to cost you, you know, uh, $5 more or less to send your stuff, uh, your T-shirts across the country. So you put $5 there. Tax rate. Now, there's options. You can go into your personal settings and make selections uh, regarding tax rates in various states. And then so you can apply uh, the tax rate in the state you are in, which is what most uh, e-commerce merchants have to do. And uh, then that will automatically get added into the price later when the customer goes to check out. All right, so uh, you can, uh, when they place their order through this button, they're going to get an email from you and they might get an email uh, from uh, an anonymous secure merchant ID, which is what I usually do, or you can have the email come from your primary email address. So that's another option. Um, these are options to track inventory, it allows you to put in a specific number of widgets that you have and uh, then uh, PayPal automatically tracks how many of them you've sold and lets you know when you're out of them. And then the third one is advanced options. Uh, you know, you can customize the checkout pages, uh, create a return page, a landing page that it takes them back to after their purchase is complete, that kind of thing. Um, not going to do that in this tutorial, but maybe in another. So uh, then once you've done kind of entering this information and these options, then you just click create button. And you give it a minute. And what happens is PayPal generates this code for you. Now, this can be a little bit tricky. So pay very careful attention here. This code here you just click here in that select code and then control C for copy code, right? Once you've got that code copied, you can go to the web page where you want that button to appear and insert it, all right? Just paste that HTML code into an HTML editor or an HTML box in the website you're working on and then go to the view mode of that page and you will see the PayPal button. Now, I, this, is, this video is specific to Google Sites, I and mean, this will work with any website, but if you're working with Google Sites, I want to warn you there's a little problem uh, with the code here, and what happens is uh, if you find that your PayPal buttons are not working on your Google Site, you can, and I found the answer here in this community forum, uh, you find this code in within the button code where it's it says right here method equals post target equals underscore top right okay and if you copy this code right here and then after you have posted your paypal code into your website where you want it to appear Control copy on this code and then go back to that code and find find this little snippet of code right here. It's going to be close to the top and then replace it with the code that you have on your snippet board. Now this was confounding me and confounding my customers for the longest time. They kept calling me and saying, hey, your PayPal buttons don't work. Uh, and so, you know, I found the answer in that forum. Now here, you see it says form target equals PayPal action, right? And then right there it says method equals post. That's the code you need to replace right there. Let's look at it again. Method equals post target top. Replace that code with this code right here. Let's look at it again. Method equals post. See, now here it doesn't say target top. But I would, if, if you were having problems with the button, I would replace this code right here.
right there. So there you go, folks. That is how you uh, create a PayPal button with PayPal. If you found this YouTube video informative, I hope you will uh, subscribe to my website and uh, and don't forget to like this. Uh, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, post it on your website, all that happy stuff. Thanks a bunch for watching. See you in the next video.